Null objects are something like a placeholder for controlling other layers. So imagine you want to have an object orbit around another similar to how a moon does for a planet. That's one example of what you can do with null objects. To make one, go up to the layer tab or press Control alt shift y You'll see a red outline square looking thing in the center of your screen. Now we'll learn a little bit about parenting objects. You see the spiral underneath parent and link? Click and hold the spiral and move it from the solid layer onto the null object. This will parent the object's movement, rotation, scale, and more onto the null object. If you rotate the null object, you'll see that the solid will also rotate relative to that location now. In fact, if you modify any of the transform controls, uh, you will see that change reflected onto the solids as well. Now, why would you want to use a null object? Well, sometimes you'll have a large collection of layers that have various positions and you want to move all of them to another location in the composition without pre-comping. I used null objects when I made the FPS comparison to distribute the different examples evenly through the composition. It's a workaround for creating a pre-comp if you're not sure about your final locations or properties for your layers. Null objects can be used to animate a ton of things, so be sure to experiment with their usage. Thanks, and see you in the next video.